Hello! So it has been a minute since I have uploaded, but I just needed to take a moment and kind of reset. But anyways, update. I am one week away from my midterm, which is everything that I've learned this year in school. And yeah, so I'm basically just going to be studying a ton and getting a little stressed out. So if you want to see some major stress acne, uh, yeah, keep on watching this video. So update, I have been studying all day and I started a bunch of things but I didn't actually finish anything so I don't get to check anything off of my list which is like really sad because I get a lot of satisfaction from putting a check mark in like a little box. Every week we have this big list of objectives which sort of guide the lectures as well as like the test writing questions apparently. So I've been going through the objectives and basically trying to answer them this is one objective, keep in mind. For a little more context, these are all the objectives associated with one week. And you just saw that like one bullet point took up a whole page and was a giant table. This is not like everything you need to know. This is not everything you need to know for the exam. This is like the big picture take home points that are like, really really important. I finally finished one week of objectives. Oh my gosh. It was literally so dead because everyone's on reading break but Timmy's was still open. So this morning we had lecture on patient safety and then we did some cases on bleeding disorders. I have the afternoon off so I'm hoping to finish my objectives for all of the weeks. I have three more to go and I'm going to spend my time at Starbucks. So I just spent like the last three hours in Starbucks, but it is okay. They had the fireplace on, so I was nice and warm and comfy. And I finished a week of objectives, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna print those off when I get home and check that box off in my study matrix. Alrighty, so excuse my crazy bun. But I'm back home. I took an hour break from studying just to kind of reset the brain. I shoveled the driveway and now I'm back at my desk and I'm gonna get cracking. I've got some leftover Valentine's Day chocolate. Got my water bottle. This is gonna be good. I printed my objectives, but my printer is out of black ink. So this is great. This is fantastic. In other news, check out my socks. This is what my ankles look like today. So today we went over more cases, um, but unfortunately today I didn't really know what was going on. Like the other cases, I was able to answer them. For the most part, I was able to get to the correct diagnosis and I was like, sweet, I'm feeling good. I'm integrating my knowledge. I have this stuff in my memory bank. But today, like, I didn't even know. I think I figured out why I feel so tired and like blah. Basically, I have done zero physical activity. Normally, I work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday with my workout buddy Morgan, but she is enjoying the lovely reading break and I have no self-discipline. So I think I'm going to have a quick cardio workout at home and hopefully remind my heart how to pump at an elevated rate and hopefully that will make me feel better and re-energize me. All right, let's see what Kayla Itzina's, Itzina, I don't know how to say her last name, has got in store for me today. So it has been two hours since I got home. I did my workout, had dinner, did not do any studying, and now I'm going to the store to do some stress study shopping. <laughs> Why am I like this? Alright, mission complete. I got my notebook, which is what I needed, and I didn't buy any extra pens or anything. So that is a proud moment for me, because I like to buy things that I don't need. So it's like 12.30. I have not stayed up this late to study in so long, and I'm very tired. 
this past week we did was like anemia, hematological malignancies, and bleeding. And all of these are very like memorization heavy. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. I have to wake up early to do my CBL prep for tomorrow. Mm, good morning. I'm here, alive, and working on CBL. So I had lectures in CBL this morning, and now I'm heading to Starbucks. I am skipping a lecture, <laughs> shh, uh, just because I need caffeine and motivation to live my life. So yeah, feeling a little overwhelmed. There's just so much content on this midterm, and I literally have today, Saturday, and Sunday to like consolidate all this information. All right, so it's Friday night. I have spent the last week studying like quite hard, but I feel like nothing has ended up in my brain. So that's great. Um, and instead of working hard and using that as motivation to study hard on a Friday night, I just spent the last hour and a half lying on my bed watching Facebook videos that were not enriching my life at all. And now I'm at a crossroad of like, should I just go to bed and wake up early and like power through stuff tomorrow or should I like push through and study tonight? So I'm going to try and return to the books. But first, I need a warm drink of something. I've got some lemon ginger tea going on. I got some iced coffee. It's very weak. It's mostly milk and ice, but I just need a tiny, tiny caffeine boost, but I don't want to like completely wreck my sleep schedule. I'm going to clean my desk. I feel like it always gets a little chaotic and I like a clean space when I start studying and inevitably it gets a little crazy by the end of a study session, but we got to start it off right. And then once that's good, I'm going to light my candle. So while cleaning my desk, I found my handy dandy study schedule that I made for the week. Safe to say I went on about the second day because I was behind schedule and just kind of went rogue. Alright, here's the game plan. I'm going to learn all of the anemia stuff before I go to sleep tonight. Starting with hereditary anemias, I made this handy dandy table. I'm going to write it out, I'm going to memorize it. I'm going to supplement my understanding with this video called Hereditary Stereocytosis. This channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis, is actually super helpful. Then what I'm going to do once I think I have sort of learned everything about the disease is I'm going to try and write out everything I know on my iPad by memory and kind of write it out and verbalize it as if I'm teaching someone about the disease just to address any holes that I have in my memory or my understanding. So this is how I know I have been watching too much YouTube for education slash sciency purposes rather than enjoyment. This is an ad from Thermo Fisher. Suddenly, they spot a colorful friend who happens to cross their path. <laughs> A well-traveled in vitrogen Alexaflor secondary antigen and primary explain their situation. Nothing beats matching when you're an a- It's increased. Big deal. Why? Alright, so this is a snapshot of hereditary serocytosis. This is a very condensed version of it. And so now we close the book and see if we remember anything. Stop the drug! Oh my gosh! I'm done, anemia! So it is 2 in the morning and I'm gonna finish off by doing my school's weekly practice quiz. It's only 10 questions long and just kind of see if I'm able to apply any of this stuff that I've spent the entire night studying. Good morning! It is Saturday. Slept in a little bit like 9 30 felt amazing and i am back on the study train so i'm at the gym I'm gonna squeeze in a quick sort of half hour workout 
as uh, med students, we learn a lot about the benefits of physical activity, not only on your overall health, both mentally and physically, but also like your brain health. So hopefully increasing that blood flow and getting all those endorphins going um, will help sort of motivate me for the rest of the night slash weekend to keep on studying. Good morning, so it's minus 20. Good. And I set my alarm for 6, but as you can see, it's 9, so ugh, whole plan is like out the window. Anyways, I'm heading to Starbucks and whatever, life moves on, I have the rest of the day to study. So if you have watched any of my videos that have like been recent-ish, you know that I love to light a candle when I study, it just sets the mood, but because I have been studying so dang much, my candle has run out of wax. So today, the day before my midterm, I used my time very wisely and I went to the mall and I bought another candle. Ah. Also, check out my sexy stress acne. All of the doctors and clinicians who lecture us in our medical program, they always look so nice. They look well put together, they look fit and healthy, they look like they had time to get ready in the morning. Meanwhile, me, a first year med student who's not like running a clinic and lecturing at a med school, like I cannot even not look like a potato. <laughs> Hello, Starbucks. Okay, it's time for me to get out of my car and stop procrastinating and start studying. Well, it is now dark out. I am the only car in the parking lot. And the people at Starbucks were like, ah, oh, we're closing, please get out. So, I am heading home. Oh yay, frost on the inside of my windshield again. And now I have all these snowflake bits on the inside of my car. Living the dream. All right, I am in the comfort of my own bed and I'm going to be studying. I have crammed as much as I can into this little brain. There's probably room for a bit more, but right now sleep is more important to me. So I will see you tomorrow on exam day. Good morning, today's the day. A little tired if I'm honest, but uh, excited to get this thing over with. So we have the afternoon off, thank goodness, no more lectures, but it's like dedicated study time. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I'm not studying after that midterm. If anyone is, like, good for you, a power to you, but like, oh my god, I need like a five-year nap, but I'm gonna hopefully satisfy myself with an hour of napping. Anyways, that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.